Well, good morning, everyone team. Welcome back to the session. So in the last session, I mean, on Saturday, we had a demo on this Oracle Fusion HCM cloud applications. And as part of our first demo, I have explained you, these are all the topics team, like we have seen uh, the introduction to the ERP, and then we have seen the fusion applications evaluation overview like what is fusion application i have explained you and the fusion applications evaluation overview we have seen team right like uh, when the fusion applications were launched in the market and since then what are the uh, i mean like when the fusion applications introduced in the market what are the prior erp products that oracle acquired and they came up this oracle fusion application that i have explained here team and we have seen the two deployment options that we are having in this particular oracle fusion hcm cloud applications like on premise versus cloud deployment option and within the cloud deployment option what are the three offerings that we have like what is sas model ias model or pass model that we have seen here team and then we have seen the types of companies that is involving in this particular application team like who is the vendor like who is selling this product in the market and who is the client or the customer for this product and who will be the consulting companies who are going to implement this product to the client or the customer that i have explained here team and here only i also explain where our role will be there like once we learn this course and once we are going to start our career in this technology in which companies that we are going to work in which designations or in which roles that we have seen here team and i also explained you oracle fusion environment releases like in the year 2011 when oracle introduced this product in the market what is the version they came up with and since then how the application got evolved what is the upgradation policy that oracle follows like every year i told you uh, four times oracle is going to provide upgrade to their application like quarterly upgradation policy how they are following and upgrade to upgrade what is the versions they are coming up with like a b c d 23a 23b 23c 23d how the versions they are upgrading every time that we have discussed it team and then finally i have explained you what are the modules that we have in our fusion hcm cloud applications like what are the functional side of the application and what is the technical side of the application and where we require any uh, prerequisites of SQL and what could be the uh, point of learning. Like whenever we are learning this particular technology, do we have to learn all the modules in the system or what are the prioritized things? How to identify which module that we have to be selectively choosing? That all I have explained you in that session team. And then we concluded our session on Saturday with the offerings that we are going to support you as part of this training, like how many months duration this course will be, what is the total hours of program, then weekly, how many days that we are going to have, and what are the benefits that you are going to get as part of this training, we have concluded team. Now, today, let me complete the topics that which we left out team in the last demo session. They are Oracle Knowledge Repository and Oracle Certification Process. So what we are going to see in this Oracle Knowledge Repository team, see, as I told you, uh, every upgrade to upgrade, Oracle following quarterly upgradation policy, right? Every three months, Oracle coming up with a upgradation to their application. So every time, whenever Oracle coming up with their upgradation, as I told you, certain new features will be coming in the system every time across the modules certain new new features oracle is going to come some enhancemental features oracle is going to come and certain existing features they might be uh, closing down or they might be shutting down that particular functionalities in the system team so not only that one now 
you are a learner for this particular application. You are a fresher team. You don't know anything about this application. You are attending our sessions. Month, Saturday you attended, today you are attending. You are going to start learning this particular technology and you want to choose as a career this particular technology team. Whatever the trainings that we are going to conduct, that is okay, fair enough. But a part of that, if you want to find any Oracle standard documentation for this particular application, like across the modules, if you see any Oracle standard documentation that you want to find where you can get, we do provide the custom materials for each of the modules. But on top of that, if Oracle providing any standard documents for these particular modules or the application HCM team, where you can find the implementation guide, administration guides, or, or user manuals or user guides of this application, where you can get team. It's an open repository. Okay. It, it's nothing like uh, Kumar registered with Oracle University. So Kumar getting access to their documents. No. Anyone can access that document. It's open source in the open world. Anyone can access Oracle standard documentation for this particular application team. During that time only, when you are going to access the documents in the Fusion application, we can also find every quarter, whenever Oracle coming up with their release, what new features this particular release Oracle coming up with. That also we will be finding out there in the Oracle Knowledge Repository team. So it's a mandatory process that you have to follow or the mandatory place where you have to go in the real time when you are working on this application also team. Because every time when a new upgrade coming in the application, whatever the new features coming up, you should also be updated along with that team. Learning the technology means it's not something like static learning. It should be of dynamic learning. Along with the application, you should also grow along with the application. Then only your existence in the market will be there. So keep this particular thing in the mind. Learning something means learn along with the application and grow along with the application. So where you can find that information, Every quarter when Oracle coming up with new upgradation, what are the new features that Oracle coming in this product? Just go to any of the Google Chrome or Firefox or Internet Explorer team. Search with Oracle, Oracle repository. Just search with Oracle repository. Okay. The very first URL that you will be seeing here team, Oracle Enterprise Repository for Fusion Applications. Okay, Fusion Apps or dot Oracle dot com. So go to this one thing. Oracle Enterprise Repository for Oracle Fusion Applications. Go to this URL team. Okay. So once you go to this URL. Today, Oracle applications only. Okay, fine. Once you click on that URL team, you will land upon this particular web page Oracle Enterprise Repository for Oracle Fusion Applications. Right. And here, team, search by product you can see here. Okay. And then go to from the cloud applications. Click on cloud applications team. Then you will land upon docs.oracle.com. The URL will be docs.oracle.com. And then team, you can see Oracle Fusion Cloud Application Suit. Means what? Under this Fusion Cloud Applications, whatever the products that Oracle offering, like our HCM, Human Capital Management Team, Oracle also offers several other products in this particular umbrella. Like if I go to this slide, you can see. Oracle Fusion Applications product family. 
so we are going to learn about one of the product called oracle fusion hcm human capital management but under oracle fusion applications team oracle offering other products also like we have oracle fusion financials we have oracle fusion crm we have oracle fusion supply chain management and we have oracle fusion procurement and project portfolio management like that these are the different individual products under oracle fusion applications team one such products is hcm human capital management which is our product which will be dealing with the hr business area or hr business practices team okay okay so when you come to this particular web link team docs.oracle.com you could able to see all the products that oracle offer under fusion applications you can see under enterprise resource planning financials accounting hub procurement then project management uh, and then see supply chain management scm then hcm human capital management then sales this is crm related all the products that or oracle offering under these applications you can see it so our concentration should be human capital management hcm come to this team and then click on this human resource then you will land upon team see oracle human resources 23b because that is what the latest quarterly upgrade we are currently in yesterday i mean on saturday session i told you right the latest version that we are in see 23b right that is about here team now once you come here team you have something here called all books if you go to all books here if you click on all books you can filter your respective user guides team like you want user guide implementation guides administration guides what you want you can filter here team let's say i want implementation guides choose implementation then all the implementation documents you can access across the module this is for absence management team implementing absence management then implementing benefits implementing compensation implementing global hr global payroll then help desk then payroll again we have localization team country to country that you can see then time and labor what not all the modules all the modules of our hcm you can see here so from here you can access team any document that you want let's say i want absence management module implementation document i can go to pdf then i can able to access that see this is the oracle documentation for implementing the absence management so a detailed explanation about what is what okay how to set up absence management a detailed explanation about that theoretical explanation everything you can see here team if you want to download you can download that also but what is the point here is whatever oracle standard documentation team it consists of very bigger size the manuals will be of very bigger size lot many explanations detailings will be there so it's a bit difficult to understand this terminology or the documents team you can rely upon the materials that what we are sharing up to you but still you should know where you can find the standard documentation that oracle provided so here you have you can come to the all books and you can filter accordingly team and you can pick up module wise what implementation document or what administration or user manuals you want you can get from all books okay and then team if you come to videos some short videos also oracle will embed here team though it's not much useful but yes you can have some short video support some uh, basic features within the system like see there is something called connections in our core hr module which is a very recent uh, new feature in the system what is that about a small explanation about that one then how to find coworkers using the directory then a small video that oracle will provide so you can even find some basic videos here that oracle is providing about the application team and then the main important thing why i came to this is every quarter when oracle coming up with their upgradation what are the new features that oracle coming up in this particular release 
where we can find team as i told you after coming to this docs.oracle.com for documents i told you we should go to this one all books okay now if you want to find a new enhancement features what are coming in this particular upgrade there is something called here team cloud readiness or what's new if you go to what's new click on that then one more window will open up team you can see oracle cloud applications readiness document team so once you come here you can filter accordingly product wise this is for financials this is for supply chain this is for hcm and within hcm also module wise you can see team i want core hr module so select human resource and then come to what's new and under what's new also team human resource you click on html here okay html here then you will land upon what's new page for our global hr and here you can see team see 23b 23a current release we are in 23b team but last quarter release is 23a if i want to check last quarter what features came last year four quarters also like more than one year information you can see here team like see last year up upgrades 22d 22c 22b 22a and even till 21d i can see any previous versions upgrades features if i want to check i have to click on them but currently i want to check 23b click on 23b okay and here you can see you can check team in the 23b what are the new features that came in so if you scroll down okay global human resource if you expand team so these are the new features that oracle came up there is something called team override standard working hours in the assignment so on which page what upgrade happening in which attribute level that new feature is coming which screenshots and the explanation oracle will provide in this document team the next feature there is some other feature coming up as an upgrade some derived standard working hours from job and location for assignment what is that an explanation and where on which screen that impact is going to happen like that you can see these all are the new features team that what coming up in the 23b release so what is that feature explanation about in the front end in the application on which page where that impact is going to be there like that oracle will provide what's new document for each release team so you have to come you have to come and you can check what are the new features that are coming up from this particular document module wise team so this will be helpful to you in the real time whenever you are going to uh, start working on the client's project team so this is about oracle knowledge repository team like if one want to access oracle standard documentation the place to navigate for okay the next team some of you asking me like kumar what about the oracle certification process do we require mandatorily to complete the certification if i want to learn this technology or if i want to start a career in this that was a question which i received from many of you and also can you please guide us like how to apply for the oracle certification what will be the cost that incurred to us okay and and how the examination pattern will be how many questions will come what will be the pass cutout percentage in that let me tell you that briefly and i will move on to the today's i mean topic team that is introduction to our application so coming to the oracle certification process team okay oracle certification process basically for the entire applications oracle will not provide the certification team means don't be in the impression that there is a certification called oracle fusion hcm club for the entire application you don't have the certification team but what for what we have under the application whatever the modules we have in the system for each module certifications are available team so oracle providing certification based on the module wise 
each module wise okay like you have the certifications name like for core hr module if you want to do certification team then you have the examination name like oracle global human resource cloud okay implement set implementation implementation specialist okay you will be having an examination name called oracle global human resource cloud implementation specialist for absence management if you want to uh, write an exam the examination name will be oracle okay oracle absence management cloud implementation specialist like this team you will have the examinations for each of the module in the system and for each of the examination module team you have the code that oracle is going to provide like you have izo 1046 slash 22 okay 23 paper this month we are going to get team every year oracle is going to come with the examination paper update updation so one the izo 1046 will be common so year by year the examination number will be updated at the end team so this is the examination name and this is the examination code like for absence module also you have izo 1056 slash 2022 so for every module you have the certifications available team you have the certifications available team and how to apply for these certifications what is the cost that you are going to incur for this one team basically team oracle partnered with a company called uh, vu pearson okay okay there is a company called vu pearson this is the examination partner for oracle team if anyone want to write an exam two ways we have either you can go to oracle university in the browser then you can register the exam and you can write but ultimately if you register there also you will redirect to this particular page only team but directly you can go to the browser and search with view pearson okay this is the company team pearson vue you will be getting if you go to this particular view pearson website team okay you can search with your examination code anything that you want oracle global like that whatever the examination code or the name you can type there and you can search and you can able to book your exam from this particular site we will be talking this in detail if anyone want to apply after our training team but this is the uh, website where we have to reach in order to book oracle certification team okay but how kumar do we have to go to their examination center and we have to write the exam no prior to covid team prior to covid team uh they used to conduct the examination physically from their office locations like in all major cities in india they used to have their offices examination test centers so we used to go there book the exam and we used to write by sitting in their office team but post covid everything became online now oracle conducting the certification exams also online in this particular vu pearson website team you can go to that website okay search with your examination name or code book the available slot and you can write the exam anywhere sitting in your home team and what is the examination pattern in each certification exam let's say team i'm going to write my core hr module certification i booked my slot okay it will be for the time of two hours team the examination will be two to two and a half hours the examination time will be and the examination pattern will be choose the correct answers type like you will be getting the question somewhere between 75 to 90 questions team it's not static somewhere between some papers or some modules you will get 50 questions only but some module like bigger modules you will get the questions ranging from 75 to 90 questions also you will get all are choose the correct answers type team question will be there and four answers a b c d the options will be there you have to pick the right answer but for that particular question and the pass percentage will be 75 percent and you also have 
negative marking in the examination evaluation team. So whenever you are going to write the certification exam, keep this in mind. You also have the negative marking and the pass percentage should be 75 percent team. And the questions will range from somewhere between 75 to 90 questions as per the module that you are registering up with. And what is the cost you are going to incur team for each module? It is 20,000 INR. Okay. 20,000 INR plus taxes you will be having team. So this is a examination fee for each module that if you want to write I mean, the certification with Oracle team. And it is a non-refundable deposit or a fee. Means what team? You book the exam. You return the exam. Unfortunately, you failed the exam. You have not cleared the certification. Then the money will not be back. It's only one-time payment and only one chance we'll have in that team. So typically, if anyone want to write the exam, you can check with your current companies. If you are working in any company's team, you check with your managers because companies will provide certain free coupons to their employees team to do the certifications. Check with your manager. Companies will reimburse this amount. If anyone currently working in any organization, for them, I'm telling team. Now, the most important question, Kumar, is it mandatory? If we, do we need certifications to start our careers in this particular technology as a fresher or as an experience, whatever it might be? I will, I will tell team a big no. Certifications are not mandatory in the fusion applications team. Companies will not be considering it as a mandatory criteria. And freshers are experienced. Any profile I'm talking about team. Certifications in fusion applications are not mandatory. When it will be helpful to you means a bit of added advantage you will have whenever in the company, once you start working, whenever you've been allocating to the certain projects, sometimes the project, I mean, client will ask whether your resources are certified implementation specialist or not. So at that point of time, company will ask us to do the certification because client is demanding. They want only certified resources to be working in their project. At that point of time, you might require certification to be clearing. But again, I'm telling not every client will ask for the certified resources team. Okay. That is one criteria. And also whenever in the organization, your performance evaluation happening every year in your company, when you are uh, managers evaluating and providing the performance ratings team at that point of time also they will consider your certifications as one of the key area to provide your ratings with higher end something like that team but again i'm telling this is something an optional concept only particularly people who are going to start the career in this technology don't bother about the certification don't keep it in mind once you start joining the organization and once you start working in the projects or something, at some point of time, your manager or your organization will ask you to do. At that point of time, you think about and you do the certification. But initially, it is not required. No need to pay something from your pocket and no need to lose. Okay. But if someone want to do, what is the process we have? I'm telling. So usually, team, as I told you, module wise, we have the certification team. If anyone want to do also pick up one or two modules, which you are very strong team. Ideally, everyone will do core HR because core HR is something very easy module in the Oracle system. So core HR is something usually people preferably clear that or apply for that team. On top of that payroll certification, you want to do absence, you want to do talent, you want to do. It all depends upon your choice team. And, uh, and one more thing is team, the validity of the exam. Kumar, I'm writing the exam in 2023. Okay. In the year 2023, I'm writing the exam. Will it be for lifetime validity? No. The actual validity of certification is 18 months. Means one and a half year team. But Usually in real time, no one will consider about this validity in your profile. If you mention as you are a certified implementation specialist team, no one will really check no background verification for this will happen. They will check only whether you cleared any certification or not. 
when it is, whether it is expired or not, that authentication or that authentic information, no one will bother about. But as a practice, Oracle telling that every certification that we are going to do will have 18 months validity. Post that, you have to do some new, uh, that particular year certification to get up to date in the market team. But ideally, these criteria, no one will follow in the market in real time. So this is about team Oracle certification process in the fusion applications team. Now let me move on to the introduction to the application team, like what we are going to see. As I told you, our Oracle fusion cloud HCM applications are purely on a cloud based model means what I told team cloud based model means if a customer buy this product from Oracle team, let's suppose uh, we have a client called it suppose team Tata group is there. Now Tata group purchasing this license from Oracle. Tata group is going to purchase this product from Oracle because they want to use this product in their in-house HR operations team. Now, okay. When Tata purchase the license from Oracle, how the application will be delivered to them, in which form the application will be delivered team, the application will be delivered in this form. Okay. The application will be delivered in this form, a just URL, a web link. So Oracle Fusion Cloud applications will be in the form of this link. As I told, it is a cloud-based model. It is a cloud-based model. We no need to install anywhere in the system, this particular applications, or we don't need to run this software anywhere in the system, nothing. Cloud-based model means, means any, anything that is hosted over the internet team. So whenever the customer buy the license from Oracle team, the application will be delivered in this form of URL in this form of URL. Now, what are the names that we will be calling them? In, in, in real time, should not call it as URL team. When you are working in a corporate company or a software company, in your job working time, you should not call, call this as a URL as a regular layman terminology. There are certain jargons or certain terminologies which we should know. So what we will call our Oracle Fusion applications as, this we can call it as team okay we have a couple of names for this what are they we will be calling it as server or you can call it as instance or you can call it as environment okay or you can call it as url or you can call it as link okay or you can call it as pod we have a couple of names to call this environment team. So when you are working in the real time projects, you might be hearing up with these words. So don't get confused or worried about that. If someone referring it, hey, can you give me the URL? Or hey, can you give me the link of this particular project? Then they are referring to the product team. So this particular application, you can be calling with several names. You can call it as server. You can call it as instance. Okay, this particular link, you can call it as instance, or you can call it as environment, or you can call it as URL. These are the regular layman terminologies, URL, link like that, or you can call it as POD. POD stands for team platform on demand, because team in cloud based model, we have the concept of subscription basis means what team whatever the modules they want whatever the products they want only that client can subscribe so client is getting a platform on their respective demand what they want so we can even call it as pod platform on demand so these are the several names which we will be calling the application in the real time in the companies when we are going to work for any project scheme so any name that you hear that means they are referring to the product or they are referring to the application theme. So the application can be called with these different names. What are they? Server, 
instance, environment, URL, link, or POD, platform on demand. Okay. Now, let me tell you, team, types of environments we have in the application team. What are they? Types of environments. Okay. Or okay, or you can call it as types of application or anything. I have to tell you, team, types of environments. What is this types of environments, team? See, whenever a customer buy the license from Oracle, customer will be getting different types of environments, team. What are they? We have to learn about that one. We have team something called production environment. Development. Okay. Yes. Quality. Something called team. Okay, let me read here. We have production environment, development environment. We will call it as dev environment team. And we have something called team test environment. Basically, test should come here and development should come here. Okay. So whenever a customer buy the license from Oracle team, you will be getting a couple of environments. A customer will be getting a couple of environments. They are called as production environment, test environment, and development environment team. They will be having some other additional environments also, like QA or some other kind of uh, names we can be using for them, for their quality assurance or quality testing. That depends on project to project team. But typically, first we have to see whenever a customer buy the license from Oracle, what are the types of environments that they are going to receive team. So these are the different types of environments they are going to receive. What are their team? Production environment means what? Let me put some shape here. Uh, okay. We have production environment. Then we have a test environment. And then we have a development environment. So what are these? Production means what? Test means what? By standard practice team, any customer when they buy, by default, these are the two environments any customer will receive from Oracle team. Production and for that production environment, one test environment. For whatever the subscription fee that they are paying to the Oracle, okay, when they buy the product from Oracle, these are the standard environments. This I will come later team. These are the standard environments they will be getting. Production environment and the test environment team. What is production and what is test team? See, production environment or the application is the actual real-time application which the client is going to use in their day-to-day -day activities team. Production environment is the actual real-time environment which the client will be using in their day-to-day -day business activities team. Then what is test environment, Kumar? See, whenever an implementation is going to start, okay, now Tata purchases the license from Oracle team. As I told you, Tata group will give the project to consulting companies. In the last session, I have told you who are the consulting companies. Tata is the client who bought the product from Oracle. Now, Tata group want the product to be implemented as per their business requirement. So what Tata group will do? Tata gives the project to some consulting companies. Let's suppose team, Tata given the project to Deloitte. Okay. So we will be working in this consulting companies, right? Now Deloitte is going to implement the solution for Tata group in their application, what they purchase it team. So whenever the implementation is happening team, that will be happened in this test environments. Okay. The entire configurations, first of all, implementation or the setups, setups and configurations first will be done in the test environments team in any project. Okay. So Tata group will give access for the test environment to the Deloitte people, the implementation partners. So these people will first work on the test environment of the client's product team 
and the entire setups and the configuration, the entire implementation, like core HR, absence, payroll, whatever the scope the project is in, everything, the setups and configurations first will be done in the test environment team. So once the implementation is done in this environment, this will be given for the client for their testings. So we have different phases in the project team that we will talk in our workshop session like this. The implementation methodology we are going to start. Like whenever we are going to start the project with a client, what are the processes like deciding the project management plan, then kickoff study, then as is study, to be study, conducting CRP1, CRP2, data migration phase, UAT phase. What is this? We will see in the workshop session later team. But here, what I'm trying to tell is when a customer or a client buy the license from Oracle, the applications, environments client will be receiving will be these two by default team, production and test environment. So in the test environment team, all the setups and the configurations during the time of implementation will be done by the implementation team. And this environment will be given to the client for the testing purpose, like whatever the configurations that they have done, whatever the implementation that they have done. Client, the Tata group IT team will check over all the setups that implementation team have done in the system all the configurations are working fine or not, whatever the requirements they have given configured in this environment or not. If everything is fine, then the client will give sign off for this. Okay, entire configurations that we have configured is perfectly working fine. Please move this solution to production. So once this is done team, then the production access will be given to Deloitte implementation team or whoever the implementation team then all the setups or the configurations with the data will be moved to the production environment and we will hand over this to the client. So this is the main environment or the real environment or the application which client side people will be using in their day to day life. Production access, once we migrate the data, the implementation team will not have access to production team. They will have, depending upon the issues that reporting back to resolve them, but a limited access to some people only we will have to. And this is the main actual environment which the client side people are going to use. This is the test environment you can call as a proxy to this one also team, where initially the setups and configurations, the entire implementation will be done first of all in this environment. Once it is okay, then we will move the solution to this production team. How that you can differentiate whether that application is a production environment or a test environment team. So this is the URL, right team? If it is a production team, okay, you won't find anything like this coming up. Okay, you, you will have the URL like this, http.login slash ESLL, okay. If it is a, test environment team, the URL will look like this. After ESLL, in the place of dev26, what we have, you have something like a test. Like how you can differentiate the URLs whenever you are going to work in the real-time team. The production environment, you have only four characters like this. But the test environment, you can identify like this. After four characters team, you will have something called a test. That the URL identifying will be happened in this way team. This is production and this is test environment team. Okay. Now, what is this development environment, Kumar? Then, see, as I told, by default, with the license fee that Oracle getting paid by the customer team, these are the two environments they will get as part of their package. But on top of this, any additional environments to the production, if the client asking, they can pay additional subscription fee and they can take the further environments team. So you can identify the dev environment in this way. Okay. You will have after ESLL dev like this. See, this is a test dev environment after ESLL slash DEV. And this is test environment. And this is production environment team. So why Kumar this is required? See, in the time of implementation team, certain customizations client want to try for. So any sort of customizations, okay, or any sort of 
new developments if they want to do initially and they want to check before moving out to the test and production these development environments they can use team so test environments and between development you can have qa environment project to project these will be deferred team but standard environments i'm talking about will be typically these three so you can have multiple dev environments also for any sort of customizations if they want to have multiple environments team they can pay additional fee to oracle and they can get additional dev environments for your production so production is the main environment team the real time environment all other are the proxies to this one in the implementation time or in the testing time or any kind of new developments if they want to perform the further environments will be helpful to you but typically any customer when they buying the license from oracle these two environments oracle will give so all the setups and configurations first we will do in the test environment and we will test them if everything is working fine then that solution will be moved to the production team and this will be hand over to the client so they will start using the application in their day to day life so whenever you working in the project team you can identify the environments like which is production which is test of that production environment and which is the development environment like this after four characters in the url team you will find that slash test slash dev like that now kumar what is this four characters esll for every client or in the market that oracle selling the product the url remains same no team this is the main concept here one should know whatever that you are seeing here team this is the pod number this is called as pod number esll you are seeing right in this url we will call it as team pod number platform on demand number team so client to client or customer to customer when oracle selling the product this url will be deferred team i will show you three or four applications team of different clients and you identify the difference okay so this is one url this is one url or one application team then i will get some more someone called okay 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 so this is one application team then i will find one more okay so you observe here team let's suppose this is also production only i don't want to give anything let me remove so let's say team three urls i have pasted here team how many urls are pasted three urls are pasted here team so here if you see team for this i am having something called esll and for this i am having team ekmk and for this i am having team edrx this four characters will be deferred from client to client team so these are the three companies related three product team here so in real time when you are working in the client implementation project team at some places your client or your project manager will ask you to work for couple of projects team you will be assigned for multiple projects some point of time so how you will understand which client's application is which one these four characters client to client in the in their application url when oracle delivering the characters will be deferred team here i have esll here i have ekmk and here i have edrx so client to client team these urls will be deferred like this the pod number in their url will be deferred that is a unique number for customer to customer when oracle selling the product the four characters that which they will maintain team and within that what is production what is test what is development how to identify them i told you in this way you can identify whether it is a test environment or development environment or the production environment so you will come into detail once you start working in the real time about them and in the workshop session again team i'm going to deep dive lee explaining the entire process flow of the implementation methodology in any project team at that point of time again we will discuss how to configure the data from one in one environment and how to migrate that to another environment 
what are the steps or the process that we have to follow everything team so this is about uh, an introduction to the environment team and the types of environments that when a customer buy the license from oracle these two are standard delivered in their subscription fee but development environments are additional payment which client have to pay in order to get another additional url or the development application for their business requirement in the real time team so this is about types of environments in the fusion application now let me move on to the uh, application and data c team how to log in into the system as i'm telling it is a cloud based model how you will enter into the application team and what are the basic features when we log in into the system how the look and feel of the application will be let us see today team so let me go to the system okay just i'm closing it i'm just taking my url team and then i'm just passing out here okay and just i'm giving a search so am, am i installing anywhere this application no just that web link or the instance or the server i copied in my google browser team then see what happens when i search with that one sign in oracle applications club and it is asking me to sign in with my user id and password team so you will be having your user id and password in order to enter into the applications team so currently my user in this application team in the desktop that which i am using currently i have saved that password for my user team so that coming up here but actually whatever your username and password you can pass here team and uh, if you forgot the password okay you can click on this forgot password button and then team you have the couple of options like our gmail only team when we using our facebook or gmail how the forgot option you have forgot password you can pass your email that you are having in the application team with your record then you can click on forgot username or if you forgot the password then select forgot password and submit to this email system will send the link the password reset link from there you can reset the password and you can sign in team just like our gmail or facebook team or and whenever you signing into the application team you have the option to select the language also what is this select language button here team see oracle fusion applications are multi language supported applications team means what it's not only in english you can have the applications in other country languages also team let's say i'm working for a client from finland okay in my personal experience team we work for a client in finland they want to use the application team uh, in their finnish language they don't want the application to be in the english language see in our mobile also we have the option right we can change it to hindi we can change it to telugu kannada whatever that application uh, entire phone will be or mobile will be changed to that language similarly oracle applications also team we have multiple languages these are the languages which our oracle applications are supported with see now i have finish if i select finish team now see that things will get changed see sign in the name changed here see then user id some kayata something it's coming then password then all everything got changed then what you want you want it in korean or japanese see it change it to japanese so when you entering into the application only team if you want your application in in that particular localized language you can choose your language here team and you can click on sign in whatever the language that you cho chosen when you click on sign in the entire application will be start coming with that language only team so this is one of the beauty in the application that which oracle is providing team so now i'm i want it to be in english only let me put it in english now everything change it to english now now let me click on sign in now team i will be landing up on the application now my screen is loading now see this is the home screen of the application team once we log in into the system this is the home screen of the application team okay so i could able to see something called a welcome message good morning hcm_impl 
HCM underscore IMPL is the user ID which I use it to log in into the system team. So whatever you name uh, that you can use. My name is Mr. Anil Kumar. Then good morning, Anil, you will be getting. Or good morning, Sangeeta, you will get. Whatever your name, that particular name or the user ID will display here, team. Okay. And then uh, you could able to see here, team, several uh, functionalities or several sections. In fact, I can say there is something called next generation apps, then sales, service, me, my team, my client groups like that team. If I expand towards the right by clicking on this arrow, again, I have a couple of options. See team, there are many options I could able to see here. And under each of the functionality here or under each of the sections, I can say rather, let's say if I click on me, under me, again, I have some apps coming up team. See directory, connections, journeys, then time and absences, performance, payroll. Huh? If I go to my team, then I could able to see a couple of sub functionalities here or subsections here. Then if I go to my client group section, then I can see subsections under that hiring, journeys, new person, person management. What are all these things team? What are all these things team? This entire section, whatever that you are seeing here, this entire section on the home screen, we will call this section as springboard. What is that team? This entire section, we will call it as springboard. And on the springboard, we can able to see several sections. Each section, like say me is one section. My team is one section. My client group is one section. Each section team, we will call as functional area. What is that team? I'm trying to introduce to you some terminologies within the system. Going forward, when you are going to start practicing in the application or when you start working in the real time, these kind of terminologies you will be getting here from your uh, colleagues team. So that's why I'm trying to introduce to you some jargons or the terminologies in the application. So each section, each section we will call as functional areas in the system team. Okay. And under each section, whatever the subsections we have team, let's say under my client group, we have hiring, journeys, new person, each of them we will call as sub functional areas. So this section, we will call it as functional area. Under functional area, whatever we have team, these all items we will call as sub functional areas. And this entire section will be called as spring board. Okay. In the spring board, you will have functional areas. And under functional areas, you will have sub functional areas in the system. Okay. Now, team. Come to the left side top corner. You could able to see them three lines here team. When my cursor is hanging on the screen, see where the where my cursor is hanging on. On the left hand top corner, three lines you have. What are they team? If I keep my cursor on that, I can see about that. What it is? It is called as navigator. It is called as navigator. So whatever the functional areas, and the sub functional areas that you are seeing on the springboard here the arrangement is in the horizontal way okay it is the horizontal way all the sections are displaying here i have the arrows to move towards the right or towards the left correcting the entire arrangement is in the horizontal way so whatever you are seeing the functional areas and the sub functional areas in the springboard team you can also access them in the navigator also. So click on the navigator theme. Okay. Click on the navigator theme. And here you can see team. See the same things. Here what we have team. Next generation apps. Then sales, service, me, my team. The same you can find here also see. Next gen apps, sales, service, me, my team. Then my client groups here benefits administration everything in the vertical way team in the vertical arrangement you can see here till others even i have here last one is what 
see tools configuration others here also i can see that last tools configuration others so whatever that i will be seeing on the springboard that i can able to see in the navigator also team okay and within them let's say uh, under my client groups team i have these are the couple of options like i have hiring journeys new person the same i can see here if i expand the navigator team if i come to my client group functional area if i click on this down arrow team then see the same sub functional areas i can also see here hiring journeys new person person management person spotlight see team under my client groups what i have here hiring journeys new person person management person spotlight so either you can access all these functionalities from the springboard or you can go to the navigator and you can also access them here team here you have in the vertical arrangement here you have in the horizontal arrangement and team even you can customize this springboard also team how you can do that one let's say team under my client groups i'm having these many options my client is telling Kumar, can you please switch off this hiring and journeys? I don't want these two under my client groups. Can you please hide them? How can I do that one team? Just come to the springboard, go to that particular functional area and scroll down team. Scroll down team. You have something plus icon available. What is that showing up when I keep my cursor on that team? Personalized springboard. What is that team? Personalized springboard. So let me click on that plus icon team. Then I will land upon team app screen. See, so not only my client groups, all functional areas and under them, whatever that we are seeing in the front end. See under next generation apps, we have these two. Under sales, we have these many. Under service, we have these many. Then under me, then under my team, then under my client groups, see team the hiring, journeys, new person, person spotlight, whatever the sub functional areas that you are seeing in the front end under my client groups functional areas, you can see them. Not only that, the entire springboard till others, configuration, tools, entire all the functional areas and under them, whatever the sub functional areas we are seeing team, everything you can see under apps now. Now I can come to team, my client group, okay, and see team hiring, journeys, new person. I'm unchecking these three from my client group. Now let me go to this uh, save and close button and click on save and close team. Now see what happens when I come to my client group. Where are they? They are gone. Hiring gone, new person gone, and one more journey is gone. They are not showing up here, see. So I can even customize my springboard here, team. See, one more thing I want to tell you. Whenever you are customizing the springboard, only the options will go off from the springboard only team, not from the navigator. See, if you go to navigator, you can see them under my client group. See, if I go to navigator, my client group, but see, there is no issue here. Hiring, journeys, new person, I could able to see here. But under Springboard, I cannot able to see. So you can customize the Springboard if you want to hide anything in the system team. So if you want to put them back, then again, go to that plus icon, then come to your functional area, my client group, then enable them team, enable them team. Okay, and save and close. Now check it out, they will come back here, see. Under my client groups, I can see three of them coming back again. So this is how team you can do some basic level of uh, personalization to your springboard functionalities in the system. Okay. Then what else we can see on the introductory page team here? This is the main home screen, right? I could able to see a couple of options here, team. What are they? There is something here called home. If I keep my cursor on that, what is that we can able to understand team that is home button team okay that is home button team what is that home button is about see 
any task that you perform in the system. Let's say I'm going to my client group team and I have something called person management. I, I want to perform something. So I came to person management team. Okay, when I came to person management, I landed upon this search person. Okay, now I want to go back to the main screen. Then what I have to do team, simply, simply click on home button. It's very basic functionality team, like in our mobile, how we have the home button to come back to the main home screen. In the Fusion application also, you be on any screen. If you want to directly come back to the main home screen team, then simply click on home button. Now see from person management screen, when I click on home button, my screen is loading now, I will land upon main home screen. So from anywhere in the system, if you want to come down from anywhere in the system, if you want to come down to the main home screen team, then you have to come click on this home button team. You have to click on this home button team. And then we have something called here, star icon what is this star icon team here favorites and recent items what i mean by this favorites and recent items see uh like in our google chrome also team we have something called a bookmarking tab what this star mark will helpful to you in the google team any url that you frequently work on or you want to save in the system you can bookmark that particular URL in the system. Correct team. Similarly, within the Fusion application team, you can add your favorites here team. Let's suppose uh, I'm a, let, let's assume team, there is one employee who is working as a HR associate in the organization team. So every day that person activity will be hiring the employees in the system. So he will come to uh, the application every day then he will come to my client group and in order to hire the employees in the fusion application team then we have something called new person here he will go to new person and then and then we have different task here team let's suppose there is a task called hire an employee so if you want to hire an employee in the fusion system we will go to this one we will see this detailedly once we start our modules team but i, I want to show you this functionality so i'm coming here so I came to hire an employee task. I came to hire an employee task. And then team, I can perform the hiring in the system. So you can make this particular task as your favorite team. Be on this particular task, click on the star team. And then team, you have favorites and recent items. First of all, we talk about favorites. So click on add to favorites. And then team, you can first create a new folder for this one. Let's suppose something like I'm creating team. Uh, okay. My daily tasks. Okay. The folder I'm creating in this way. So hire an employee, this particular task I'm grouping in this particular folder, save one close. Now team, every day when I come to my organization, okay, I have to perform this hire an employee task in the system. So what can I do team rather than coming to my client group, then picking the new person and go to hire an employee. Simply, I can go to this favorites button. Okay. Simply, if I go to this favorites button, my folder, I can see team. If I click on that, whatever the tasks that which I perform daily, I can see here team. So directly, if I click on this one, then I will land upon hire an employee. See, see hire an employee. So an employee can list out what are his most favorite setups in the system what are his most daily routine setups in the system he can pick up from here team you can add and we have something called team recent items what is that okay what is that this is basically team history in the system like in our google chrome also if you want to check out the history like what are the recent uh, 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 search areas that you have in the system you can find out in the history button here within the fusion application team if you come to this favorites button and if you click on recent items you can check out team the recent screens that you came across now see just before i came to new person prior to that i went to hire an employee then prior to that i went to search person 
so you can see that what are the recent tasks you performed in the system that you can see here team and you have something here called a watch list team this is nothing to do from the point of hcm you can ignore team when financials and supply chain people are working team that is related to them you can ignore that and we have something called here a bell icon available team so what is this bell icon team one second okay what is this bell icon here team notifications we have something called yes in the fusion application team we have something called workflows and approvals in the system i told you right here in last session only i was talking about something called workflows and approvals means what any sort of transaction happening in the system the concerned managers will receive the approvals like example in absence module if any employee applying the leave team then that approval should go to the concerned manager so when a manager logging into the system into his system with his credentials team the manager can see all the notifications what triggered to him in the bell icon so here a manager can receive the notification like which employee applied how many days then he can click on that notification he can view and here approve and reject buttons manager will get he can approve or reject that particular transaction team so this we can see in our workflows and approvals uh, classes when we are going to start team but this is the notifications bell icon where the concerned employee will receive the notifications which has to be required his attention team he can check all the notifications here and then these notifications team you can also find here also if you scroll down your uh, springboard okay if you scroll down your springboard in the things to finish team here also you can find whatever the notifications that receiving in the bell icon so whatever you requested you can see here whatever that waiting for you map it to you that you can see team so from here also the concerned managers can take the appropriate action and if you come here team you can check some news and announcement section like this is something organizations will use to publish any sort of news in the organization let's suppose team uh, a kind of announcement organization want to shout out to all their employees let's suppose uh, uh, june 2nd is a, a public holiday in the state of telangana right it's a telangana formation day we have a holiday usually let's suppose example i'm talking about that or let's say not that one team organization announcing some bonus to all the employees tomorrow on 30th may so they want to share that communication to all the employees in the organization mail communication they will do that is okay out of the box from their microsoft outlook whatever they are using they will send them emails that's okay but within the application some sort of news or the announcement that organization want to shout out to their employees in large then team we have the configurations in the back end news and announcement team so they can publish the articles there and employees can able to see here whatever organization publish it so they can go and they can check about that what is that news is about so any links organization is sharing everything an organization can i mean an employee can study the news and announcement which the company is sharing with them so on the news and announcement team we have a session or a video that which i prepared in our youtube channel you can find it across team that is a simple basic functionality in the system only okay so these are the basic introductory features in the application team and here you have something called settings and action okay if you want to sign out from your application team you have the sign out button here see you can go to sign out and you can sign out from the application so every day once the office is done employees will come and they will click on the sign out button here then they will sign out to the application then they want to come in back then again user id and password and they can sign into the system team and here we have a couple of options to discuss team uh, personalization administration so i will talk them in the next coming session on tomorrow team but before closing the session for today i want to show you one more thing what is that let's say you want to know 
what is the version of the application that which you are working on currently where you can find team if you come to the right side settings and action at bottom you have something called team about this application if you click on this one you can see team the the version of the applications in which version we are currently in 23b and release 13 so if you want to check out that you can find from the about this application team so these are the basic introductory features which we can talk about in the introduction to application team so today's agenda is to mainly introduce to you how the cloud application looks like how to log in into the system and what are the different types of environments that client will receive how you will identify by looking at that url okay which environment is this how you will identify and the basic understanding about the application home screen features all these things team in tomorrow's session we are going to start with our actual topics team so any module that we are going to start in the system basically our training will start with core hr module but before starting the core hr implementation in the system team we have to start with our security administration which is the main preliminary requiremental understanding for anyone who is learning this technology why because team i am telling that you have to log in into the system with your user id and password okay how this user ids and passwords will be created in the real time in the application team or let's say i am logging in with my user called hcm underscore impl so when i log in into the system i could able to see several functional areas and several sub functional areas i am accessible in the system how this access to this user coming in the system that understanding one should have before starting any module team so starting from tomorrow team we are going to start our actual sessions or the actual topic the first topic in the training that we are going to start from tomorrow team here in the security administration we are going to talk about the user management and the role management concepts like how to create the user account how the access to the application will be coming to the users that we have to start team i will start this with this topic from tomorrow so from tomorrow the new meeting link will be shared to the participants team whoever not yet contacted to us please reach out to the number that which again i am posting out in the chat or you can find it here team so please confirm your enrollments to get the new meeting id for tomorrow session and all the enrolled participants we are going to share the new meeting credentials and also you will be added into our whatsapp group to have the further communications whatever that we are going to share all the materials everything we are going to share it across in our whatsapp groups team going forward so whoever confirmed already we added them so people let you confirm their enrollments with their payments please confirm today team from tomorrow you will be getting the new meeting link for the class to attend and also you will be shared with the access to dashboard for the videos and also the instance materials everything okay so any questions are such in today's topic team 